Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article and the title very simply is Tsunami. And Tsunami is dealing with the waves in the ocean. And we see in the picture, I don't think that's a real picture, but it's very scary what can happen because of a tsunami. So let's find out more about what it is. The word tsunami is Japanese for harbor wave. So we know what wave is. Wave is the large movement of the water, especially in the ocean. And harbor is where if you go by the water, there's a place where the boats are kept and that's called the harbor. So it's near the land. So here, uh, the word comes from Japan and it means harbor wave. So it means the wave that's coming uh, from near uh, the land and the water, that area. So tsunamis are large ocean waves that form when a large amount of water is suddenly moved. So someone once explained to me how tsunamis work. So if I have a big bucket of water and all of a sudden I shake it, what's going to happen to the water in it? It's going to start right sloshing around and moving and spilling everywhere. So that's if you multiply that, if you make it much, much bigger is the idea of how a tsunami is formed. So when uh, the large amount of water is suddenly moved, like through an earthquake or something happening underwater, that's when all this water starts moving around and it gets very dangerous. So it says here, most tsunamis are caused by earthquakes. So usually after an earthquake, there's always a tsunami warning. Uh, an earthquake is the sudden shaking of the Earth's crust. So we know that the Earth has different layers, right? There's different levels and the crust is one of the outside and at the top when the Earth shakes, Right? And inside, uh, the earthquake is caused, that's when the water starts moving around. And that's usually the cause of the tsunamis. It says, when an earthquake happens underwater, spaces and gaps form in the ocean floor. So space means not together, and gap also means uh, the large space in between two things. So if we see the cover of the earth, it's a big piece of rock. And when this rock is broken because of an earthquake, that's when many things can happen. So we'll find out what it says here. Sometimes water moves to these spaces and they create huge and powerful waves called tsunamis. So once again, when the earth starts shaking, the crust, the rock layer, the rock piece of the earth starts breaking apart. Sometimes the water goes into that gap and because this water is moving very quickly and it's shaking, that's when all this water and tsunami could happen. Right? So, uh, we know what tsunamis are, very dangerous waves. There's been uh, tsunamis that people have seen that are taller than some buildings, right? And they come from the ocean onto the land and it causes a lot of damage. Many people have been hurt or even lost their lives because of tsunamis and they happen very quickly. So very dangerous and we know uh, more about it and where it comes from. Starts from the ocean, usually uh, from earthquakes, but it can also happen through very, very powerful winds uh, and other storms too, but most commonly because uh, the earth is moving uh, through earthquakes or something that happens in the water. Very interesting, very scary. Let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. Uh, let's fill in the blank. Uh, if you look at the picture, uh, that's what it looks like in a tsunami. Very, very high waves that slam into the land, right? And cause a lot of damage. So the first question, it says, the word tsunami is blank for harbor wave. So what language was a uh, tsunami? Where does it come from? And we learned about it. It's from our neighbors in Japan. So it's Japanese. So it comes from the Japanese language. And the second question, an earthquake is the sudden blank of the Earth's crust. So we said that the crust is the outer rock uh, layer or, or the level. So earthquake is the sudden, sudden means right without warning, it just happens quickly. So an earthquake is the sudden what of the Earth's crust? How is it moving? So it is the sudden shaking of the Earth's crust. And if we look at the last question, tsunamis form when a large amount of what is suddenly moved. So we said that tsunami happens usually right in the ocean and something is happening. Amount means how much, how much of something, a large amount of what is suddenly moved. And we know that tsunamis uh, are because of the ocean water, right? So when a large amount of water is suddenly moved, that's when this wave uh, comes onto the land. Uh, let's look at the right uh, sentences and choose the right words. And here in the first sentence, it says most tsunamis 
are caused by uh, tidal waves, tidal earthquakes, tidal harbor waves, which kind of force, what is it that makes tsunamis? And we talked about it many times. Uh, we talked about it because of right, the earthquake uh, that causes the tidal earthquake waves. So because of these earthquakes, they cause these huge waves and that's how tsunamis are formed. Uh, part B, it says when an earthquake happens, uh, is it underwater, on land, or during a tsunami? Spaces and gaps form in the ocean floor. So when we're talking about the floor of the ocean, is that on land? Is that during a tsunami? That's already happening, right? So the correct choice would be underwater, right? Underwater, that's where the earthquake happens, deep under the ocean floor. So here, the last question, sometimes Water moves to these spaces and they create huge and powerful something called tsunamis. So this one should be easy. Uh, not a surf and not the tides. They're somewhat, de they're dealing with the ocean uh, waves and the water, but the correct answer would be the powerful, that's right, the powerful waves called tsunamis. So now we understand from today's article what tsunamis are, where that word comes from, and how they're formed. So the next time you hear about an earthquake, uh, you should spread the news that a tsunami may happen as a result because the earth was shaking deep in the ocean floor and now the waves, the water is uh, moving around and causing powerful waves. Kind of scary, but now you know, so you know what to do when you see one. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and share this with your friends. All right, see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.